to win. What? Who are you to dare set foot here? Ah. You are Dragonborn. I can feel it. And yet... You have done little beyond killing a few dragons. You have no idea of the true power a dragon boar can wield. This realm is beyond you. You have no power here. And it is only a matter of time before Sol's time is also mine. I already control the minds of its people. Soon, they will finish building my temple, and I can return home. Send him back where he came from. You know, he can await my arrival. Well, the rest of experience. Regret. him? Can we kill him? He is out of your reach. Somehow this book is a window into his realm. This is a dangerous thing then. We should return to my village and show this to my father. Perhaps Storm can make sense of what is going on. Come, there looks to be a way out through here. Mirak disrupts. His regrets will be many. Welcome, dear viewers, to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I'm the Couch Warrior, and you are watching Ashes 2. A Skyrim SE Let's Play. Featuring the adventures of the Shadeling. So let's tag along with Freya here. Figure out where she's leading us. So our interactions with Mirak are obviously the village is just ahead. very limited. Storm has used his magic to raise a barrier around it, protecting the few of us left. That the barrier is still there is a good sign. But we heard, uh, we heard Shadling basically make something that sounded an awful lot like a threat. Well, it was a threat. Basically telling Mirak that he was going to experience many regrets. It's, um... kind of a, a pretty typical shadling way of speaking, and it's sort of an oblique way of making a threat. But understanding what we do of shadling as a character... We, we understand the menace because he is a creature of very few words. Uh, so the things that he does say are relatively important. 
And uh, the way in which he conveyed that message is, I think, fairly striking for that character, so. Father, I have returned. There is yet hope. This man creates a temporary repair of the pattern. It is incomplete, but he does good work. Let us speak. So you have seen things, yes. My magic grows weak, and so does the barrier around our village. Time is short. Tell me what you know. Mirak is the source of trouble for your How people. Do you know this? I read the book in his temple and went to his realm. The legends speak of that place. Terrible battles fought at the temple. The dragons burning it to the ground in rage. They speak also of something worse than dragons buried within. Difficult to imagine, but if true, it means what I feared has come to pass. Mirak was never truly gone, and now has returned. If you could go to this place and see him, are you like Mirak? Are you dragonborn? That is a matter of interpretation. As the pattern sees me, I am indeed dragonborn. Then perhaps you are connected with him. The old tales say that he too was dragonborn. It is my connection with him that will allow me to unmake his pattern. I am unsure. It may mean that you could save us, or it may mean that you could bring about our destruction. But our time here is running out. The few of us left free of control cannot protect ourselves for much longer. You must go to Sering's Watch. Learn there the word that Mirak learned long ago. And use that knowledge on the windstone. You may be able to break the hold on our people there and free them from control. The words of power are tools to be used in repair of the pattern. So we've got our mission. We're going to go to this place called Sering's Watch, and we are going to recover a word of power and try to release these people from control. Now the interesting thing to consider here is that as we play the Shadeling, 
we view everything through this lens of the pattern. There's something fundamentally different in the way that Shadling experiences magic than what we see with characters typically. What I like about that is it, it kind of causes me to think about every situation in game a little bit differently than I would than I would think about them normally. So it's kind of fun in that way. So when I think about these stones and what Mirak is doing, I think of them as blemishes or lesions on the pattern that need to be healed or repaired or fixed in some way. And it kind of makes everything look a little bit different. So, I know my way there. So we're going to make our way that direction. But, first, we've got to do a couple of things. Let's see what we've got equipped here. So, Ghost Walk. Let's equip Ghost Walk and Blink. Now, I guess the good news about this location, too, is that, um, remember, because of our perk selections, we are going to be getting a nice buff on damage with our frost-related spells. very aware that this character is not designed to be a dragon killer, so we are going to have to be top of our game here. All it's going to take is one shot, one shot from that dragon's breath, and we will be dead. So, let's look at our combos here. I'm going to go with Sleet Storm. And I'm going to try Blink. So, that dragon gets himself in a position where he's ready to unload on us. We're going to Blink out of there before we can get hit. That, I feel like, is the best shot we have at survival here. Because even invisibility is not a guarantee with a dragon. So... Just gotta do our best. Now let's do this first. Let's get a cloak going. Okay. Put down a couple of those. Link. Now we gotta keep an eye on that dragon. Okay, the frost runes are going to cover our flank. Sorry, Fox. <laughs> there we go. Blink. can literally not take a shot like that. Whew. 
Whew. Holy cow. Look at the short work we made of him. Holy. That, my friends, is the power of stacking the right perks. And thank God for it. One shot from that breath weapon and we would have been completely done. Now, let's not screw this up because we've got a lot of nasties still in here. So, let's do this. Got a rune in one hand. Got the cloak going. We got the sleet storm in the other. Draw them out, I think. Problem is with all all the snow and stuff, I can't I can't see the enemy. Got a couple of runes down to cover us for a moment. Arrows, man, the ranged attacks, that's what I'm worried about. Ranged attacks at this point. So let's get up in here. ourselves an alternate route in. Get these momentary breaks in the blizzard where I have to sort of take advantage and see if I can see anything. Let's get right up in there, see? Threat neutralized. Let's play it smart, though. We're only in good shape so long as we can maintain the element of surprise. So. currently out of innate magic. 
So we've got to buy a little bit of time here. We'll just use ourselves as bait. There we go. Thank God for the power that we have in this frost magic situation because we would be in some serious trouble otherwise. Okay, there's one in here. Let's see if we can kill it right through the wall. Yeah. That's a safer route to go if you can. With a lesser draugr and skeletons and creatures like that that would simply mob you and pick away at your health. That's always a great alternative. Alright, I think we're in the clear here. Alright. Let's not take anything for granted, but... was the archer. It was causing us trouble. Yeah, I got into a little trouble there where... I don't know what happened. I was down in this area. I took a hit. Sometime, somehow I got up in these rocks. I got disoriented and I had trouble figuring out which way I was facing, and um, I think that that may have been Ghost Walk biting me in the ass there, because it I think it teleported me to a location and changed my facing, and then I lost track of where I was, so yeah, a little bit of danger there when I got into panic mode. Alright, so got these guys... remember that one. So there's three piled up here. I remember killing two of them. Alright, so we got the word of power that we needed. Elven sword. Twenty-five magic damage. Temporarily changes the target's name? That's odd, isn't it? Let's grab that. That's worth looking at. Okay, so we absorb that bad boy. All right, so that frees us up to, to go back and see what we can do for these people. Interestingly enough, the the dragon was actually the easiest part of the encounter. <laughs> that was the part that worried me the most because I know, given the makeup of Shadling stats, that it only you know it's only going to take one shot for us to be done. I mean, a, a standard Draugr arrow is pretty deadly. But a full hit of the dragon breath, man. That's all she wrote. Alright, so we'll make our way back now. We've got to... Next thing we got to do is have our little encounter with the stone. I've had a spriggin on my tail there too, I'm sure. So I've been interested to see how how Shadling is going to do against the minions of Apocrypha. 
And it would seem that this is our chance to figure that out, eh? So, let's do that. For starters, we need to equip this Bend Will spell so we can break the stone's hold on these people. Uh, let's see. So, it's Bend Will. Got to unlock it, of course. Let's see. Let's do that first. All right. Now I'm just going to leave the same spells equipped. And. All right, here we go. Do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to try and shadow bond him, which could be kind of tough. Um, just because. Well, what I, what I need to do is I need to snatch him up and I need to pull him out of there. What happened? Did I get him? Oh, I did. Oh, that worked brilliantly. I just ghost walked immediately afterwards. That's what happened. Um, that worked brilliantly. I needed a way to pull him out of there because I wanted to. I wanted to kill him with a spell that was going to basically detonate him. And uh, that would have killed a bunch of villagers too. So I needed to pull him out of the fray and then kill him in an isolated way. All right. Wow. I think it would have been uh, a bit more stunning if we hadn't had so much snow and could have actually seen what happened, but it worked. The snow was obscuring my vision to the point where I couldn't even tell if I had successfully bonded him. So that was a bit of a problem. And I'm killing all the wildlife as I go here. Head back. So we're following this breadcrumb trail to Mirak. So we've taken part of taking care of one aspect of this. Now hopefully this breadcrumb will continue. We've hopefully freed the Skull villagers. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing great. Thank you. There's a whole hell of a lot of stuff going on with the channel right now. A lot of things going on all at once. Um, I know some of you had concerns that uh, with the Fallout 4 Let's Play that somehow I was going to stop this one. No, that was never the intent. And that's not what's happening. Anyone can help us now. 
it is you. The air is different. We are safe, which means you have succeeded. Your people are free. So it is. You have proven yourself an ally to the Skull, and so the Skull shall be allies to you. What must we do now? If you have released the Windstone and broken the hold on my people, perhaps you can do the same for the rest of Solstein. I doubt it will fully stop whatever Iraq is doing, but it may slow his progress. That is not enough. I need to halt Iraq's plan now. I cannot help with that. None here can. You will need the knowledge Mirak himself learned. You will need to learn more about this black moon. Tell me more of this book, then. Mirak had this? This does not look like something of the dragon cult. It is a dark thing, unnatural. I would have nothing to do with it. But the dark elf wizard, Nelos, he came to us some time ago asking about black books. I believe he knows a great deal about them. Perhaps too much. Seek him out to the south. Be cautious, Dragonborn. There is something else at work here. May darkness never touch you. Be well. For many years now, I have attended to Storm, learning his way. Darkness touches us. Every day. Don't like those eyes you got. Bad hunger to them. Now, love. Great brown bear on the slopes again. I could swear by the old mate that it was. Now, love. The sworn enemy. Know the one you saw. Of Marl. Watches us each night. Always smell the most. We observe much consternation and conflict between Marl and Neloth. They are competitive. They are disliking of each other, but they are familiar with each other's work and the patterns of each other's minds. Perhaps we should reach out tomorrow. Perhaps Marl can find what we seek through his acquaintance, Nelov. We will send for Marl. Marl will help us. 